Hey everyone, welcome to RK Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, I just got back from the post office. Got a little box in the mail, so I'm really happy. I'm gonna open that up and show y'all. Right now I'm going back to the eBay room. Um, I didn't have many sales today. I didn't have many sales yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and combine those videos so you can see what's going on. And at the end of the video, we'll find out what's in the box. I'm really happy about it. See you in a minute. Only three more items going out today. It's okay, a couple slow days, no problem. But since this is kind of on the theme of what I was talking about with your unlisted inventory or your death piles, of out of these three items, two of them are what I listed yesterday and they sold for good money. So let's go get those items. First one's gonna be over here in the L2 bin. It's right here, right there in the front. And I kind of suspected these were gonna sell quick. Now I didn't expect them to sell overnight, but I expect them to sell really fast. So let me set these down. This is a set of power grips. They're pedals for a bicycle. They're easy to slide your feet in and it's for fast, fast racing or fast moving or bicycle or mountain bikes. That way your feet don't come out. And these were listed. I picked these up for $2 at the thrift shop and they sold for $34. And those are going international. So that was a really good sale. All right, this next item I actually had for a little while. So it's in this K1 bin. I'm not sure where it's at. Oh, I'm holding my hand onto it. It's right here. Okay. Put the cover back on. All right, this is a, you can't see it, it's in a bag, it's wrapped up. But this is a Nyko battery charger for a Xbox 360 uh, set. And this sold for $11.99 ship. It's real lightweight, it's gonna go out with no problem. And I bought this at the thrift stores. I go through their cords and their bins and they're usually about 50 cents a piece. Um, they have a, a, a bin with a bunch of different cords and chargers and transformers. And they usually sell them for about 50 cents. And of course, half off days, you get it for 25 cents. So 25 cents sale sold for 11.99 ship. So this was an old Holy Bible from 1961. It's a Catholic edition, uh, masterpiece edition Bible. There you go. It's the Dewey version and Fraterny Fret version. I don't know how exactly if I'm saying that right. I'm not. I know I'm probably not. Uh, copyright 1961. And it's a pretty big Bible. It's in pretty good condition. There's, I mean, overall, it's in good condition for being from 1961. So, yeah. I picked this up at a consignment shop and they were having a outdoor sale if you would that day so they had a lot of vendors out there and they had a lot of old stock and one of the things they had was listed was this bible and it was out there on the books and all the books were listed for 50 cents i asked them about this and they said yeah it's a 50 cent book so i picked it up and sold it and it sold for 24 dollars and 99 cents the buyer paid the shipping i sold one item that when it sold, I had to go pull it because I thought, hey, that'd be a good thing to talk about. So I'm going to add this probably to another video. That's why I'm wearing a different shirt. So the item that sold is over here in the, this Chrissy bin. I'm going to pull it down real quick so I can find it. So the item that sold, and you're not going to see it really well, but I thought I would talk about it is in this bag right here. And you may have a kind of a guess of what this might be just by the bag if some of some of you may know some of you may not this item here i laugh all the time when i go out thrifting or garage sales or different places sometimes i get a little bit hungry and i'm not overly hungry but sometimes I, you know i just want a little something to eat so i'll just go through mcdonald's and make it real simple and just go right through the drive through and I don't want to spoil any kind of meal in case Kim's cooking a nice dinner or doing something like that. So what I'll do is I'll order the Happy Meal. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. And maybe some of you do. I don't know. But I'll order the Happy Meal. Anyway, the, the whole point of all that is the cost of that is about $3.99. Some places they may charge a little bit more. Some places may charge a little bit less. But I can say with tax and everything, it's about $3.99. Whenever I order the Happy Meal, I'll say, usually I'll say a boy for the Happy Meal toy. And that's what this is. It's a Happy Meal toy. 
So you can see the package. Beyblade Burst, number six. The toy says Silas. Uh, Silas and Satome. Anyway, I don't know a lot, a whole lot about kids' cartoons and things about nowadays and so forth. I'm from the old Looney Tunes and Warner Brothers type cartoons. Um, that's my speed. But I'll take this, these, I'll get it out of my Happy Meal toys, and I'll list them and sell them. Now, I know there's not a lot of profit to be made if you sell them as an individual, and sometimes I'll hold on to them and sell them in groups. But like this one here, I didn't, I just took it and listed it it doesn't take but a hot second to list i sold this for seven dollars and 99 cents so what does that mean after ebay fees shipping i make half my money back out of them get all those things and sometimes if i sell two or three of these together in a lot i'll make enough money to order two or three happy meals the next time i go out <laughs> happy meal toys that's how you make your money that's how, that's how you make your meal <laughs> next item sold is over here in this n2 bin and especially right here i think this is it yeah okay you can't see it it's in this box but what this is is some silver cup chalk it's green there's 48 pieces and these sold for 16 dollars 99 plus shipping okay so this next item sold is in this chrissy bin pull it down And it's right here and this is a tailor-made rocket balls golf club cover it's used it's a rbz that means rocket balls um it's still pretty good condition overall everything it might have a little little smudge spots from from use but it's still real good it sold for nine dollars and 99 cents and the buyer paid the shipping i just got back from the post office went and dropped off packages for today stopped by and mailbox and picked this up so I'm not going to show you the address on it, but we'll show you what's in it. I already cut it open, but I haven't opened it yet. So we'll take a look. All right. So this is what I got and I'm pretty happy and excited to get it. I'm not going to read that little note yet. It's kind of backwards. You get a gift and open it up and then read the note. Oh, look at there. You got me a Commonwealth picker mug. When in doubt, part it out. That's pretty awesome. Kevin's doing a bunch of coffee mugs. He's selling them and he's donating a little bit of the proceeds to one of his viewer subscribers that his wife passed away from cancer and it's going to go to a cancer society. So I'm really happy to support that and I get a new mug to add to my collection. All right. That was a good ad. Oh, the other thing. Stopped by Walmart, picked up these little bubble cakes. They're not very expensive. Um, they had them down, marks down on sale. I picked them up for a dollar a piece, so I got four of them. And they sell for about four dollars a piece, so that's not much. So what I'm going to do is four dollars, four dollars right here, and I'll lot them together, and I'll sell them for uh, twelve, fourteen dollars probably plus shipping. All right, everybody. So you got to kind of laugh. Uh, I got another shirt on. Actually, I forgot to make an ending to this video, so I'm do, doing it now. And what I'm really working on is a thrift haul video. And that's the stuff I got from the thrift haul. That was a quick peek. I'm going to work on that, and you won't see that video till next week. But I have one important thing um, I want to talk about, and that is we did a premiere video on wednesday of this week so i don't know when you're watching this video but wednesday of this week we did a premiere it came out at seven o'clock p.m so i tried to put out like a little poll and ask people hey what's the best time for you to watch uh, my videos or what's time the best time to watch uh is it evening time weekends weekdays night morning afternoon so leave a comment down here in this description let me know what you think it seemed like most everybody was saying during the weekdays and between 7 and 10 p.m. And that's fine. Um, I can do premiere videos at that time. But I'd like to get a more general consensus because I think I only had maybe 20 people give me their votes or their, tell me what they were looking. So leave a comment down in this video and tell me if you're able to watch live streams or premieres, what's the best days of the week for you and what's the best times. And if you, I'm telling you, this is central time. So you may want to specifically tell me what your time zone is 
or if you live in another country what time you're able to watch so that way I get a general consensus and I know exactly what's the best time to put out a premiere video and a live stream video all right well thank you all very much to all the resellers out there find it sell it profit everyone else take care be safe and look out for one another bye bye